God now, through faith, by those of you who have accepted the work of Jesus Christ, which is the will and word of God, have the presence of God living within you, inside of your own being. Now, the people who carried the presence of God in the days of old were called the Levites. The word Levi means to be joined onto, and Levites were from the tribe of Levi. This is where Moses and Aaron were from. Now, they were called Kohanim, which is uh, the name, the Hebrew name of a priest, which ultimately came from Kohen, which Levi and Moses' his grandpa. Moses and Aaron's grandpa. <laughs> so look at this. This is a famous painting by James Tissot. Of course, we've upgraded it a bit. Now, these were the people of God who carried the presence of God in the days of old. And here's how it worked. Okay? This is the Ark of the Covenant. Inside the Ark of the Covenant is the tablets of the law. What do you know about the tablets of the law? They have the Word of God written upon them. Well, now the Word of God is written upon our hearts. What else do we know about this? It's covered by angels, covered under the shadow of God's wings. You and I, right? What else do we know about this? It's carried by humans, by frail, fragile, weak, but chosen and called humans. they got to be faithful. They are adorned in white, purity, forgiveness, holiness, redemption. There's little red pomegranates which show a fruit, like fruit of the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, long-suffering, goodness, and self-control. They have red shoes. Red is the color of the tribe of Levi. Red can symbolize the blood of the Lord, the atonement, the anointing. It can also represent some of the, uh, the fruit, obviously. Again, pomegranates are red, very bright royalty, majesty. Um, these priests are covered in white turbans that their thought life has been covered. The helmet of salvation, if you look at a Roman officer, uh, whereas the white turban is a koanim covering. It is the, a white holiness and purity that covers the thought lives of a priest. Now, who's a priest? In Christ Jesus, you and I have been all called to be priests and kings. In the Old Testament, God promised Moses, I will make a nation of priests and kings. Well, those of us that are in Christ Jesus are in the covenant, grafted in into the promises. Therefore, you are priests and kings, a nation of people who will glorify God and carry his presence on the earth in our day and time. Amen.